station for EMEC on the wave test site and here we're collecting rainwater details, uh, temperature and also the the wave, um, sorry, the type the indirect to gauge his optimum output with the optimum weather conditions. So now we're looking at the face um, of the substation which is quite cleverly hidden in an old quarry um, and then they, they put a concrete box in, waterproofed it and then covered it up again because the area where we are here in Stromness in Billy Crew is a site of special scientific interest and an area of outstanding natural beauty. Um, an SSI because of the paleontology here, because of the fossils along the, the cliff faces here. And looking out to, to sea, you can see the cardinal marking buoy of the site, that's the east cardinal mark, the north one and the west and the south one come out in a diamond shape and that marks the perimeter of the wave test site. It's situated about two kilometers offshore and it's based on the 50 meter contour so the water is a uh, 50 meters depth out there. Now the cables come ashore at this point they're on the seabed, on the sandy seabed, further out to sea, and then as, the, as they approach the shore, they're encased in a metal casing, and then as they get onto the shoreline, certainly to the low water mark, then they become buried in the beach here in front of us, along the, uh, below the boulders and things that are there, and then they come ashore just underneath this mark here, which is a yellow diamond, warning mariners that there are high voltage cables coming underneath and then under the ground into the substation itself. developer has a section of the switch gear itself for themselves and electricity generated is metered and any electricity consumed is metered as well and one offset against the other. So each developer is completely isolated from the other one and we can tell what the developer has produced uh, as opposed to another one. Thank <laughs> you. 